What is going on, YouTube? I am back and better than ever. I appreciate anybody who's stuck by, who's waited this long for me to turn to YouTube. Maybe some of you guys were thinking, oh, you know what? He's probably not coming back, but I'm back, baby. But we are here. Um, I'm just loading in to the um, Aurora Falls. And I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to see. Um, yeah, I, I don't really understand what our Lake Valley, actually, I think it was not Aurora. We did the second option, and I'm not too sure. I haven't played so but I did see oh what you can select your own local wait what okay we're gonna definitely go with the Montezuma okay right off the bat the freight depot is right there wow we got three tracks okay Okay, a lot, a lot has changed. That is indeed what I have noticed. That is crazy. That is, that is something else. You get to pick a Montezuma starting out, and you get a Telegraph. Oh yeah, I remember the beeping. That was about the last thing I seen, and then we were done. All right, so I don't even know where to start. I would imagine we go the sawmill. We need the meat or wood logging camp. Logging camp to the sawmill. I think that would be our first bet, right? This is crazy. I honestly have not seen how it goes. Ooh, we got props now. Oh, that is cool. We got signs. Okay. Yeah, see, so if you guys are not are all familiar with this, I have not played around at, with anything. None of this. Uh, abilities menu? Oh. Is that the re-rail? Oh, ho, ho. Backspace to go back. Okay. And then, okay. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, so, uh, sugar cane logging spot. Uh, so yeah, I gotta get the uh, basic basics down, and I might as well make a video out of it, right? I didn't again. I didn't record anything because, or watch anything because I didn't want to do anything and mess anything up. So we have a whole bunch of stuff to put in. Okay. Wow, this game has changed a lot since I have and gone so you can put in logging camps and stuff too that is crazy okay so what about the facilities what do we got wood rack or wood rick rick i'm not gonna be like that red oh you can change the colors of your water towers okay engine shed okay that's cool okay coal tower oh wait a second so which which trains need coal Obviously not these ones. Okay, let's check out the locomotive. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't want to demolish anything. Oh, let's go back to that menu. Look at the locomotive. Cool speed pallet. Oh. Greg sugarcane flat. Logging flat. So we got the logging flat, so we can do logs. Well, we're going to need that, but we need to do logs first. Uh, how much money do we have? Does it say? I don't think we have any. Um, okay, it's not that button. Okay, didn't realize you just pressed P. Okay, so uh, we got two logging flats. So we can make some logs happen. You know what I'm saying. Uh, but we need to make a uh, way to get to the log. So we can zoom in. We're facing 
towards the sawmill, but we need to go towards the logging. That way? Hey, let me run over there quick, and I will jump. Oh, how do we... Okay, well, it's going to get dark. That's the only problem. Graphic. Can I turn the brightness up at all? Shoot. Okay. Oh, I didn't want that to unlimited. I want that to stick. You're gonna stay? Yep. Okay. Uh, gameplay. Uh, we're gonna do the um. Thirty minutes. You can do custom weather. Nice. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna mess with that at all but this is gonna be terrible for you guys so i'm gonna get working uh is there like a lamp or something we can use Ooh. sub switch three-way that's nice okay so floating rail and use it as snow. That's cool. Bumper. Okay. So give me a second and I will be back probably a little closer to daytime. But that is cool. It is dark out here. It's like we didn't even we turn this on. Oh! Yo! Oh, wow. This is completely different. That is crazy. How come we already got temperature? And steam. Hmm. It must come equipped. That is cool. And we got full sand. It shows you how much sand there is. Oh, it's actually putting sand out. Okay. can toggle the UI like that. That is nice. And the break up. No? Okay. How do we get out? F? Did you break on? Ooh, there's sound to the break? Oh, wait a second. Nice. All right. That is crazy. All right, so I will see you guys in a little bit here. I'm going to run over to the... Oh, it kind of brightens up, too. I'm going to run over to the logging camp and see what the best route is to come. Um, again, I haven't seen anything on anybody else's channel, so... Bear with me. I'm learning everything as we go. So, let's get on to it. I will see you guys there. I think I'm getting the hang of this. It's a whole new learning curve for me, that's for sure. Uh, but we are getting on laying this track towards the uh, freight depot so we can get it towards the sawmill, get it all hooked up together, and we're going to get going. So I do appreciate anybody who has decided to give this video a try and start watching it. Um, it's going to be pretty finicky, um, but I do appreciate if you... Uh, stick with me and hang out and whatnot but the day and night cycle oh my goodness that is amazing isn't that crazy i it blows my mind should have watched some videos or something you know it makes me think like man i should have watched some all right so i'm gonna try curving this just a bit i think we're gonna do it at like a 300 meter curve uh, but we have it at a 1%, but I'm going to bring it back down and hopefully get it at a decent angle. Uh, we're going to probably put it here. Oh, do it there, and then we're going to flatten it out. Um, or we're, we're actually going to start coming down, but we're going to do a little flat section. Just so it, it won't be too bad for the train. So we'll do a flat section like that. 
And honestly, if we really wanted to, we could probably put in the second rail. I don't think. Oh, that's pretty high up. So yeah, we're going to bring that back down. See, but I don't want to go dirt crazy. Oh, see, it won't even let me put it. How far will it do it? Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to have to upgrade the rail to... Oh, I pressed H. That's pretty cool how they have a wiki in there too now. So if you need questions or anything, you can look it up like there. That is decent. So our curves stay the same. We can bring that back down. Oh. Put it to 5%. And then I think right here we're going to do a wall. If Do they still have walls? No. Oh, wait. No, we got to make the wall. Duh. So down here, wall. Yep. Okay. So we're going to make a little wall here as it comes down. We're going to bring it at a 0.5%. Since we have the Montezuma, it's probably not going to work too well. We don't want to do too high of grades or anything right away. Uh, but if we're looking at the map here, we're kind of just curving. I'm hoping to curve around right here so that we can go like that and curve around this mountain here. Or the hill or whatever this may be right here. So we can get to the sawmill. And we're going to figure out what we need to do for the sawmill to get it turned around and whatnot. Um, oh, I did actually want to put a Y. That's what I want to do to turn around the train. But I think we'll put one in. Well, probably put one in at the end there. Just have it branch out two ways. and or However, we can get the train turned around that way. Okay, so we are going to keep this going. It's going to be nighttime again, so... I think I might adjust that to a better uh, standard, you know? It, it's kind of crazy how quick it gets dark. I mean, we're going to be playing for a while, so I don't want it to be dark all the time where I can't record good. But we're going to go in the options right now. And I told you I wasn't going to touch this, but I think we're going to do 45 minutes. Oh, we'll do 60 minute day lengths. And then we're just going to... Oh. Do you think it'll... Um... Let's do 60. Oh, it'll update like that. Okay, we're going to reset this to... We're going to put this to 7 in the morning. Oh, 651. Alright, so 60 minutes is every day. I think that'll be better for recording purposes and whatnot. Uh, but we will do run some night train, nighttime trains, but I just don't know how well it's going to go with YouTube compression and all that. So we uh, kind of got off of that slopey hill there. So we are going to go back down to rail one. And I think I'm going to put another cut in here. I don't want to bore you guys for my first video back. Put another cut in here and I will be back when we get closer towards the... Um, so we get closer to the uh, freight depot there and I'll check back in and show you guys how the track's doing and I just want to know how you guys are doing so at, in between these cuts why don't you go comment down below and tell me how you guys have been let me know just say how you, I've been doing good and say thanks I've been missing you or say something say something positive let's let's keep it keep keep the positivity going um, I do appreciate anybody who's stick, stuck by or who's still subscribed. Um, maybe it's because you guys forgot you guys, or you didn't forget. The, but, like, let's say you guys uh, didn't realize you guys are still subscribed to me. You know, I do appreciate anybody that may... Oh, not the baby tree. Oh. I do appreciate anybody who has stuck by and has been waiting for this return. I know it, it has been a long one. So I think we're going to go into that uh, deal right there. Oh, maybe we should straighten this back out. Yeah. So I'm going to play around here and see how it goes. And I will see you guys back when we are closer to the freight depot. What is going on? I am back. We have four tracks here. 
I was thinking about putting another one here just to make it look better. I don't want that to be too sharp of a curve. Uh, so what we are doing here, I'm just putting some bumpers at the end here just so we can, we need some trains, some cars stored. We can store them right here. So that should look about even for all of them, except for that one. That's okay. It, it, they're okay. Uh, I have a track kind of curving around from this side over, and that goes all the way to logging. I got cordwood lined up and the log. So that's good. Uh, now we can start working towards getting this track connected up with our freight track, our yard track, and we will start making a plan probably have some branches out We've got a few places to go but i'm not too sure i'm gonna keep this video a little light and short uh we are gonna try heading towards the sawmill uh but we might oh no we'll, we'll get to the sawmill but we we may or may not uh go ahead and take the train over to the logging camp and figure that out once we get this to the sawmill or closer or at least we can be able to get the Montezuma hooked up to our cars and load them up with logs so we can start making a little bit of money. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys sticking around. Um, I know there was just a little cut, so it was quick, but this kind of took me a little bit to get it over here. But I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. So what we can do now is I'm just going to go ahead and throw some... I've been using number two. Number two rail just so it can men mesh quite nicely. So which way is this facing? Is this facing towards the... Okay, so it's like a straight. We want to curve right there, but we probably want to go out towards the oil field. So let's get this track connected. Uh, we'll bring it out towards this way. And I think what we'll do here is just put in a switch. Uh, right now I can tell you we need the other one. I just grabbed the same one. Okay, we need that one. So let's go ahead and change. Oh, of course it becomes nighttime right when I start recording. Didn't even com comprehend that it was daytime. Um, yeah, I don't know how to fix all that. So we're just gonna hit that and hit back. Um, I've been messing with it, but can't really get get the controls to play around right. So now I got it too dark still let's do 6 30 did that change everything i don't know uh gameplay yeah see look it goes 30 minutes i don't get that okay daytime okay so now we have this track it's gonna be straight this one branches out and we're just gonna freeform it oh we're not gonna freeform it that's kind of not a good idea this might be a little too close Okay, we're going to demolish this one. Uh, I want to kind of put in a turntable maybe for our engines so we can flip them around. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to start working on getting this side connected to this. And I will see you guys back here in a moment. Um, again, I do apologize for all the cuts and whatnot. But, you know, laying rails, not that interesting. But again, comment down below what you guys want me to talk about when I'm, you know, got these cuts or whatever. I can talk about stuff before I do cuts or in the middle or whatever. Tell me what you guys want to see in this um, series. I know it's the beginning of a first or new season of Railroads Online. Again, I haven't played this game in a long time. So if you guys do want to check out some of the gameplay I have done, it was a while ago, uh, but it is on my channel. But the only thing is it's like not updated. So I mean, it's crazy how much was updated. So if you guys want to check and if you guys don't know that old updates, you guys can always look at my videos and I have some an old series that you guys can watch if you guys are starting to like this one uh but yeah we're playing on the lake valley i think it's called yeah and so we are just working on getting it nice and beautiful and tracks galore so we can start working on getting some money moved around and you know making that bank so this is pretty flat over here so i'm just gonna keep it at zero percent the only problem is this main line here is higher up, but usually main lines are going to be higher up than what your side 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 lines are. You're switching tracks and whatnot, so I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back in here. 
I think it'd be better to have it on that side since we don't have anything on this side to worry about yet. Is there anything that way? Ooh, all that. Okay, so, well, I think that's a future problem. I have to redo all this layout, maybe. Um, probably put in a switch over there so we can have a connection from the... Well, do we need to come from the wheat farm and water well meat packing? So, yeah, we'll need to put a Y right here. Coming off that way and coming that way. And however we get over there, um, I am going to start watching some videos on it just to get the hang of things. Uh, just so it's easier and nicer for you guys, because I can tell already that this video is not going to be the best. But I do appreciate anybody who will support it and hit that like button. That is awesome. I'm not going to ask that too much. I know I was probably pushing that a lot back then when I was recording before. But now I'm, I'm just going to keep it simple and chill. Hopefully that's good. Ooh. What do you guys think? Ooh, that doesn't look good, does it? No. Oh. I think it might be fine. Let's go ahead and get rid of that sapling. Uh, we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. So we just keep, so we can keep on trucking, training, training. You keep on engineering, if you will. All right. So what we have now is two switches. So technically, we got our sidelines connected. There's no way for our engine to turn around. Um, I don't really. Ooh, we can put a. We'll put a turntable over on that other side of that free depot when we come back this way. But we are going to head towards the sawmill. Uh, we're facing this way. So the oil field's that way. Yeah. So we got to go around that big hill. So I th think we might need to double up on the switches here. So should we put a three-way in? Are we going to need a three-way right here? And I do already have a three-way. I don't know why I put a three-way. Oh, well, now I do because we got stuff that needs to go that way. Stupid wiki. Okay, uh, let's check the map here. So we could do a three-way because then we can have just this direct line to the sawmill. Figure out how to loop it. We got to get it looped. We can't. Oh, can we do across the river? That's a good question. We can make a nice, beautiful bridge across that river if we can or the lake there. We'll have to see how that goes. But if we can find a way to loop it, you know, drop them off. I don't know what the sawmill looks like. So we're going to put a three-way switch in here. One for straight, that way, and then that way. So I think I'm going to straighten the track out, or we'll bring the track out just a bit more so that we don't have to deal with double switches right away and not knowing which one's which. So about right there. That should work. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in that three-way switch stub, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we need to change our point. Um, yeah, so that way we can tell which one's which. So that will be our three-way switch. Got some logging to do. Get these guys out. So yeah. So this track right here should probably do two. And we gotta gotta make sure the curve's good. But we got to make sure we're curving too, you know, because there's that big hill we got to figure out. So what, we we say 200. I hope that's not going to be regretting back or in the future here, but we'll go 200 there. Split it out like that. And we'll just leave it right there for now. Just so we don't regret putting so much down or something. This one, I think, will be our refinery rail. I don't know if we will. Oh, well, we need it straight from the refinery. Yeah, well, we're going to need it all connected. So let's go ahead and go back to free or precise. Straighten that out. And I'll just bring, some, you know, pre-markers for these tracks here. So we're working with this left side. So we'll switch this guy over. Oh, switch him over. So now we're switched to the left. Wait. Oh. Uh, That's going to trip me up. Okay, that's... That's right. Right? Yeah. That's right. But what what is up with this? Why is it like that?
Okay. Well, that'll be something to get used to. We're going to need it all the way to the right. Okay, so we will go ahead and bring that straight out as well. I think that's our... Yeah, we need to hug around this mountain. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording here. And I will see you guys in a minute when we get a little closer to the sawmill. Well, I'm glad that it's fairly flat over here. But let's go check out, see the sawmill. It kind of looks weird from here. We'll see what that, all that, oh, that's, those are trees, aren't they? Ew, those are trees. That's why they look so weird. Well, let's see how our approach needs to be for the sawmill. Is it going to be able to turn around or would, do we going to have to back up every time for the logs? That's the real question because if that's the case, then we need to build a yard over here for a shunter for when we do get a shunter. Start shunting them. Oh. There's our loading bay. Oh. Okay. Swampy marsh. Swampy marsh. That'll be alright. Um. Okay, so this is where we get our supplies so we can kind of curve it out that way that'll be fine what about our logs though we're gonna have to go straight into the water aren't we? yep okay so that'll be interesting that's probably what eight cars or so worth of vlogging cars i don't actually i don't know i don't know how the, the new stuff works we'll have to see uh, but yeah, we'll have to run a line through here so it's straight. Let's just do that now. You see, I don't know. Oop, let's turn that curve off. I don't know if it's going to be straight or not. And I want it to not be too finicky when it comes to this. Okay. We're going to build a wall with no rail. What? Yeah, we're going to do that. And straight as we can. Up the... Oh! Straight as we can. Oh, this is trippy in the water. So there. Should we put a buffer? After? I think we will. Yeah, that ain't. Can I get up over here? Oh. Okay, so what we will do. We need to put a buffer down for. Can we measure that? How far, how long is it? I want nowhere. Oh yeah, our trick still works. I didn't see how long it was, but I probably will look at how far that was. There we go. We got a straight track for log drop off. With the bumper. We need to turn the power. You know, we need just this guy out there. There we go. What? All right. Let's see. I don't want bridges. I just want one without ballast.
Um, yeah, so give me a second and I will get this all figured out here. Okay, after some continuous planning here, came up with something that's going to work for now. Um, we don't really need a turntable. When I came down here and noticed that the logging goes right into the water, we're going to run a, have to run a reverse. It's the only option at this moment. But let me know down in the comments how you guys have done this area. It seems like there's a lot of flat area for you to do stuff. I just don't know how to go about that. I'm not going to hook that up right now. Just for the sake of this video. Uh, we'll probably do that in the next one or something. But that is how it goes. And I can actually get rid of this now. I don't need this there. But I will put one... We're going to put one down by the sawmill. Of course we are. For recording's sake. Look at them wires. Make them go whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> that is funny. It's like a, a rubber band. If you, Hopefully YouTube doesn't compress that too much. Probably will though. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take another trek down over here. And I think we need to do a run down to the... Down the track just to get all the logs cut off or the trees cut off i'm gonna put this right here so i will see you guys in a minute we're gonna be at the montezuma and we're gonna just drive it down to the logging camp and get it loaded up for the day we're not gonna buy any cars or anything i just want to see how it goes um didn't mean to hit h10 but i will see you guys in a second to the last 10 I ran away with my life fast forward never turn back again it's kind of funny that the more we pass time the more we need to set the rewind and 19 was the year I had to leave you but now I'm seeing all the signs is this really happening I can't believe it's true I'm just as surprised as you
are out. We are going to start rolling the Montezuma towards our freight. So we will go ahead and start hitting the brake. Ooh. All right. We're going to have to get used to the brakes. Bet you it's been messed with and whatnot ever since I was gone. But chugging. Holy cow. I completely forgot they were updated that too. That is nice. I love that chugging. Oh yeah. Backing up at night. You guys probably can't see much, so we'll be back during the daytime and to run this train. All right, it should be daytime anytime now. Uh, we did not put any water in the tank, so I'm probably gonna bring the Montezuma back over after we're done with this video and fill it up with some water. Just so it's good to go for next time. There's the telegraph office. I hope the sound's doing okay. I hope it's not too loud. I might actually turn it down in a setting. Turn it to Maybe that'll help. But if not, we will adjust some sound settings in the next episode. I really hope this sounds good for you guys. I know it's loud in my headphones. Good actually. This sound effect. Oh, that train is still loud. So hopefully, it's not too bad. Uh, but it is. It is. We can do it. I think I might actually just, just, just so it's a little quieter than my voice here. See. I hope that sounds okay. If not, I do apologize for the beginning of that video or beginning of the train driving. It's too loud or not. That sounds decent. So we will go ahead and get on to this track here and reverse it to the logging camp. So we can get some logs up in here. I hope you guys are doing well. The Monty Zumba is running just fine. Now this is where I'm kind of sketched out about. I really hope we're going to go that way, even though it's that way. Okay. So it is the opposite. Okay. I'll just apply some brake there. Um, I could have bought some more cars, but I don't know if we should yet. I just wanted to give her a test run. You know, we haven't, I haven't, I haven't ran a train in a while, so we got to do that first. Can't be throwing a whole bunch of cars on it right when we start. So, all right, let's go ahead and throw the reverser on. Oh, we do need to flip the train around. I want to face it. Oh, we don't have to this time. We got to flip it around the next episode, probably. Let's go ahead and back this up. And so we will get backed up. Ooh, 70 miles an hour. That is quick. That is quick. So yeah, let us get reverse. I mean, we're going. Oh, yeah, that is our speed. That is nice. Let's see that. Let's go ahead and up our regulator. Gonna go ahead and get out. Uh, pick up some fuel here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's running a lot better than what it used to, it feels like. And. Got a train. Got a train running. Montezuma. Yeah, we can check out this railroad together. Hopefully, <laughs> there ain't no derails happening. Shouldn't be derail valley, it's lake valley, okay? Alright. And I love the black smoke. That is beautiful. I love how this looks. You can tell it's really chuffing along here. And I did put a firewood depot in. It's super slanted, but I think the logs will get in there. 
Holy crap, we are going fast. We are going quick. Ooh. Ooh, babe. I think we might have to switch that one. Maybe we should going down. Oh yeah, you guys remember this stuff? Oh, is it in the middle? Oh, it's in the middle. Okay. We got the ghost track to remove. Oh. Oh. All right. 7% should do it. So I'm thinking I was gonna do a siding here, but now that I know there's industries back over there somewhere, I should probably make that into a main our continuous main so that we can actually have cars loading on this one or should we just bring it out and connect it all together again that way too but if we need to turn around we can do a turnaround up there somewhere wherever the uh the facilities may be we're getting this backed up i'm really hoping the tracks are lined up enough for the logs to go in yeah this is this is awesome Compared to what it was a year ago, I do a, a group a, a, a proof of the uh, the updates. These are really nice. All right, Montezuma, pulling into the station. Oh, I gotta get used to that. I always, I think the regulators used to be on the other side. Okay, we're gonna be able to even. So you can't even use these, but wait a sec. Am I not doing something right? So it has to be very precise. Oh, three out of five. Well, how are you going to do that? You're just going to load two out of five? Oh, look at the little logs. They're so cute. Okay. So now we need to reverse. Like, I really hope I unpaused it. Okay. So now we got to reverse. Give her a chug. Push. Push, baby, push. Give her a hundred percent reverser. There we go. Hey. All right. So I think this will probably end the episode once we get this log filled up here. Um, I do appreciate anybody who stopped by, who's given a like, who's been subscribed the longest. I do appreciate it. I appreciate you guys sticking around being by my side and yeah so what we got 10 logs here oh that's or yeah 10 that's pretty cool so we can build this out and start loading this train like crazy maybe we'll put it in a loop i'm not sure we'll have to see let me know down in the comments below i will be reading these before the second episode so let me know if you guys have any suggestions comments tips tricks anything anything that'll help me at all that would be awesome i do appreciate it and this has been the German Soldier on the Season 2 Episode 1 of Railroads Online. I hope to see you guys in the next one.